Rashid and with other choreographers. I'm used to, to play live the music. I want the song to be visible. So if I can't be here, something, something visual has, has to happen on stage. That's why I, I had this idea of guitar with uh, records and a pick on top of it so the, the, the guitars can play themselves. Guitar is tuned differently. And one guitar lying on the floor, which will be played by what, what we call uh, an Ibo electronic bow. So you get a kind of continuous note. There, there, there will be a, a note all through the piece. Uh, and at the beginning with the, the, the guitars, after with a recorded guitar. Uh, and uh, at the same time, I use a captus on the floor to emphasize all the steps of the dancers. So uh, I wrote a really simple song and rhythm. So they play the rhythm with their feet. And uh, Chris, one of the dancers, is going to play a kind of guitar riff with, with them playing the rhythm. All is mixed with Ashid. Uh, dance, uh, music, light, all it's equal. All, all, all has to be s uh, thought at the same time. It's not we can work the dance and uh, the last two days we'll put light on it. No, it's, uh, all is in process and all is uh, as important, all is important. Rashid spoke a lot about it being a concert, so very much driven by the score that John Baptiste has created in collaboration with us. Um, so it's less about getting movement right, it's not so much about the movement, but it's about the bigger picture of the journey of the space and how the space is taken on a ride, I guess, uh, through the score that John Baptiste has created. Sound is about space. So uh, when I work on dance pieces and things like this, I try to break the fence between the audience and the dancers and that all the people involved, and to me dancers and audience are involved the same, feel that they are in the same room. And uh, like, like if the audience could feel what it is to be on stage. <laughs>